We've got a ton of Pontiacs out here today, including a ton of unbelievable GTOs. But of course, the Firebird Trans Am, one of the more favorites of all Pontiacs. And we've got a 69, and it's unbelievable. Let's check it out. There aren't too many of these uh, around. There were only 697 uh, 69 Trans Am made to begin with. First thing I got was uh, special paint. Uh, it's, uh, we call it cameo white, and the uh, painted stripes. The fender vents actually do work, and it's to get the heat out of the uh, motor compartment. Then it had a uh, special uh, hood. It's a one-year only hood. Uh, it uh, has ram air, what they call ram air pans, uh, the top and bottom, and uh, those are, are steel. The repops are plastic, but the, the originals are steel. That hood is uh, about $15,000 right now to, to find uh, you know, a, a one that's not a repop. I had the car for one week, and then I took it to the restoration shop, and and they had it for 18 months after that. So <laughs> I had a good time for about one week with, with this car. It ended up being a rotisserie, full rotisserie restoration where they took the car completely apart, took the drivetrain out of it, uh, put it on the, uh, the, the rotisserie, the spindle, and uh, tried to make it as, as correct uh, as, as we could. Uh, this is uh, a, a numbers matching car. It has the original motor, transmission, rear end that uh, came with the car uh, originally in 1969. So this particular uh, model has a Ram Air 3 uh, uh, motor in it. We had a decent drivetrain to begin with. When they had the motor out, they, uh, they, they uh, sandblasted it and painted the motor, repainted the motor before we stuck it back in and, you know, all that. It's over restored in some areas and, and it's uh, you know very close to original in others. For example, the exhaust system uh, it's a uh, Gardner exhaust system. Gardner uh, produces uh, concourse uh, style exhaust for all types of cars. So we use them. So the exhaust would be very, very, very close to what it was in 1969. But then you, on the other end of the spectrum, you take the paint. Uh, the paint job uh, is uh, one of the best. Uh, I have one of the best people do it. The name of the shop is Aloha Automotive Services, and they're up in uh, Port Washington, Wisconsin. I, I know the owner and, and uh, Tommy White, and we, we tried to get uh, NOS parts uh, as, as much as we could, but you can't always, and so sometimes you'll have to get a, a repop you know, set. We use three companies mainly uh, to, you know, to, to get our parts from. Ames is one of them, Year One is the other, and Classic Industries would be the third. The only thing that's not original to this car is the alternator. So the distributor, the carburetor, um, all, all of those are all date coded correctly and they all match this car and are for this car. We're looking for an alternator and it's, it's hard to find. It's, it's one of those hard to find items and uh, it, it won't be cheap, but uh, neither was the restoration, so, uh, you know, eventually we'll find that and, and uh, finish off the project. Two weeks ago, I had it at the Pontiac Nationals, and uh, I scored uh, 397 out of 400 possible points. I don't know what the three points was for, but uh, I do know that uh, it's very hard to get a perfect car. Uh, perfect 400 is almost uh, impossible. An amazing day at the Pontiac Indian Uprising. So many Pontiacs, you probably couldn't see them all today, but we sure tried. We had everything from Linda Vaughn, Miss Hurst Shifter, Jim Wangers, and Arnie the Farmer Beswick. And of course, we found an old friend, this 67 GTO. Best of show in 2002 Nationals, 457 cubic inches, 565 horsepower. Kragar 17 inch wheels, and a transmission that'll snap your head. Why is it an old friend? Well, this car took my wife and I from the church to the reception in style. But unfortunately, it's our last 67.